the most dominant bucks, they're gonna have one of four things going on. It's gonna be antler size, body size, age, and attitude. And I did not list those in order. I actually listed those in reverse order, which is something that trips people up because when you think of a dominant buck, you think of the biggest buck in the woods. Not always the case. Charlie Alshammer taught us this many years ago when he wrote an article called Big Bucks Aren't Always Bullies. And in fact, a lot of times, the biggest bucks, antler-wise, are the submissive ones in the herd. They grow big by being submissive and because they get better food and better opportunities.